Hey, welcome to a new video. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year, or is it? Most people can't wait until it's Christmas again, but even at Christmas, strange things have happened. So grab some food and drinks and have some fun watching this video. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. During Christmas Eve, the father of a family looks outside and sees a Santa Claus walking around with a bag full of presents. He immediately tells this to his children, and they all decide to take a look outside. Santa Claus first seems to visit the family that lives on the other side of the street, so they walk inside again. But a few minutes later, when they go outside again, they suddenly see Santa Claus standing around the corner of the house. The father says they better go inside, and what they find are a lot of presents under the Christmas tree. It seems that Santa Claus somehow put the presents down and immediately ran off again to bring presents to other families. It's very nice that they were able to see Santa Claus for a little bit, because not everyone is so lucky. Have you ever seen Santa Claus? Let me know in the comments. Let's start with the Grinch, a fictional character first introduced by Dr. Seuss. The Grinch is known for stealing Christmas presents from people's homes. Although it's a fictional character, some have also captured him on camera in real life. Imagine this, you go to a gas station to get some quick food or drink, and you see a real-life Grinch planning to steal. What would you do if you saw this? Run away? As you can see, the Grinch is not really to be trusted as he walks through the store. What would the employees behind the counter have been thinking? As the Grinch walks out again, they catch him stealing some things. Thanks to Santa's reindeer, he can be taken anywhere to bring Christmas presents. The ringleader of all the reindeer is Rudolph. Rudolph is known for his red nose being red, and in addition, it also serves as a light for Santa. Although Rudolph is supposed to be just a fictional character, he was captured on camera playing in the snow with other reindeer. Could this be the real Rudolph? It looks like the video footage was taken near a forest. At first glance, we see some ordinary deer, but with one of them, his nose seems to light up. Whether the video footage was manipulated, we don't know. But according to a scientific study, the noses of the reindeer could really turn red. In the following video, we see Santa slide down the chimney and into the living room of a house. He has taken a lot of presents in the bag and fills all the Christmas socks hanging by the fireplace. But Santa Claus did not come alone because after a while, he decides to open the front door and then we see Rudolph the reindeer walking in. I don't know what the meaning of this was, but it's incredible how all this was captured on camera. Rudolph was probably tired of waiting on the roof and came inside to have a look. After Santa left all the presents, he goes back into the chimney and then disappears out of nowhere. Of course, he could have gone through the front door, but Santa Claus is of course used to going through the chimney and the rest of his reindeer were probably waiting on the roof. Grilla is known in Icelandic folklore as the Christmas witch who lives in the Icelandic mountains. While most of the West enjoys the stories about Santa Claus rewarding good children with gifts, naughty children in the Northern Island have to answer to Grilla. The written legend of Grilla originated in the 13th century, and during Christmas, she comes down from the mountains to put children in a sack and take them to her home. Grilla, who is described as an ogre, has a fearsome appearance, a horned tail, and she has a family that looks just as creepy as her that she lives with. Have you ever seen Santa Claus in real life? If so, you can certainly consider yourself lucky. The following story is about a family who decided to set up a camera to see if they could capture Santa on camera. And they succeeded. On Christmas Eve in 2014, Santa and his reindeer arrived somewhere near a residential area. Santa had placed the presents under the tree at each house. And then we see him flying off on the sleigh. This must have been so cool for the family who showed the video footage to their children the next morning. What would you like to have as a gift from Santa Claus this year? Let us know in the comments. In this video from 2012, Santa Claus seems to enter the house through the front door, and before he walks into the living room, he listens up the stairs if anyone sleeps. Then he takes several presents out of his bag and puts them under the Christmas tree, but suddenly he hears someone walking down the stairs, and he immediately tries to hide. The uploader of the video thought he heard an intruder and decided to take a look downstairs. However, he couldn't find anyone. But in the video, you can see that Santa Claus knows how to hide. The man had to put a security camera in his house. So when he decided to look back at the footage with his seven-year-old daughter, they saw that it was not an intruder, but Santa Claus. The man uploaded the video to YouTube to prove that Santa Claus undoubtedly really exists. Have you ever heard of the gingerbread man? It's a cookie shaped like a man and is very popular during Christmas. 
It is thought that Elizabeth, the first of England, was the first person who made these cookies. Since then, it has been a popular food during Christmas in several countries. But there are also people who claim to have seen the gingerbread man come to life. A mother of two children had baked cookies, and when they went to watch, the little boy was shocked because the gingerbread man began to move. After witnessing this movement, the little boy was probably dared to eat the cookie again. Would you also have been freaked out if you saw the gingerbread man come to life? Let me know in the comments. As you know, reindeer can't fly. But when we talk about Santa's reindeer, they can. The reindeer of Santa Claus are special. They can fly very far, but also very high. This is also a convenient way for Santa Claus to travel through the air, with his sled in the presence, so he won't be noticed easily. In this video, a man named Bobek captures Santa Claus on camera, flying to his next destination. But Santa Claus is said to have been captured several times on camera as well in Ireland on Christmas Eve. Santa Claus would also have been seen with his reindeer and sled, in two different instances from an airplane, when people decided to take a look outside. And in this video, the reindeer are standing on the roof of a house, waiting for Santa Claus to finish putting the presents under the tree. By the way, are you looking forward to Christmas? Let me know in the comments. You might be wondering, how does Santa Claus manage to prepare millions of Christmas presents every year? He does this thanks to the hundreds of elves who help him. It is said that a Christmas elf helps with the making of the toys. And they also take care of the reindeer. You don't actually see them that often. But nevertheless, they have been captured on camera from time to time. In the following video from 2013, we see a Christmas elf turning on the lights in the Christmas tree, and then walking around the room. In another video, the Christmas elf managed to get into a window, and then it looks into the camera for a moment. We can't see what happens next, but it probably puts a present under the Christmas tree, or maybe it opens the front door for Santa. Are you someone who always gets new clothes instead of toys for Christmas? Then that probably saved your life. If you lived in Iceland, and you looked out the window during Christmas, you may have looked into the eyes of an alien cat that is bigger than most houses. This is because the Jolokaturin, also known as the Yule Cat, peeks through the windows to see what each child has received. If that child has been good, finished his chores, and received new clothes as a reward, the cat moves on. If you do not get clothes from Santa Claus, then the cat will chase you until he gets you. And then, he will eat you. Uh, strange. On Christmas Day, a live TV report was being broadcast because it had snowed a lot that morning. The news reporter, named Jennifer, was talking about the heavy snow when suddenly a monstrous creature appeared behind her. The people at home thought they had just seen a Yeti live on television. The cameraman turns the camera away, and after that, we don't know what happened. Some people thought the furry creature had walked out of the nearby mountains. Other people thought it was just a person who had dressed up in a Yeti suit. Although this was probably a person, many Yetis have been sighted over the years. Even footprints have been found that are thought to be of a Yeti. Do you believe that Yetis really exist in remote places on Earth? Let me know in the comments. The next video is from 2016, in which we see a Santa Claus walking into a hospital, somewhere near the American city of Atlanta. It seems Santa Claus already knew about the cocoa back then, because at some point he uses a disinfected hand gel that hangs on the wall. After that, he quietly sits down somewhere and takes something to eat. Santa Claus seems to be all alone in the hospital, and is looking for all the Christmas trees in the building, and leaves the presents there. After about two hours, he decides to walk out again, to his next destination. It looks like nobody had noticed Santa Claus, but it was all recorded on security cameras. It also turned out to be a children's hospital, so I think the kids were very happy with the gifts Santa brought. Santa, is that you? Maybe one of the last words you ever say. In this next video, some see a figure squatting by a Christmas tree, looking like Santa Claus. But he should have been more careful, because the figure by the Christmas tree was not the beloved Santa. As you can see, the figure in the Santa Claus outfit turns around and has a creepy mask on. He had a face that will probably haunt you every time you go to sleep. The truth is that Christmas is not only associated with kindness and presents, but also with demons and scary creatures. So beware of tricksters and people who dress up as Santa Claus. How would you react if you saw such a scary Santa sitting by your Christmas tree? Would you run away? Dr. Seuss is a children's book writer who first told about the green furry monster, the Grinch, in 1957. The Grinch is described as a monster with a cat-like face who lives on the edge of a cliff in Whoville. Because he doesn't like Christmas, he steals all the presents. But apparently, he exists in real life too. Because in the following video, the police of Darmouth, Massachusetts encounter the Grinch trying to enter a house. When the Grinch sees the police, he immediately drops the presents, 
In another video I found, the Grinch even had to go to court in front of a judge. After the judge made the verdict, the Grinch had to go to jail. Apparently, he had stolen too many presents. In this video, Santa Claus seems to be getting ready to leave the North Pole one day before Christmas. It was very cold that day, and it had snowed a lot that night. As you can see in the video, Santa Claus sits on the sled and lets Rudolph the reindeer pull him forward. The story goes that Santa Claus did a lot of training with Rudolph, and now they are both ready to make all the children in the world happy with presents. There aren't many videos on the internet of Santa Claus in his homeland, so the fact that we see him here with Rudolph the reindeer is very special. Besides that, the nature also looks very beautiful. It would probably be cold, but the white environment where Santa lives is breathtaking in my opinion. Fra Perchta is a demonic Christmas witch who presents a dark side of Christmas. The story of Fra Perchta comes from Alpine folklore, including Bavaria, Germany, and Austria. This Christmas witch usually targets lazy or disobedient children. So if you've been good this year, no need to worry. Frau Perchta is described as an old woman with a runny nose, covered in warts. On her back, she usually carries a basket filled with screaming children. During Christmas, she goes into houses and takes away kids who have not behaved. However, this Christmas witch goes a lot further than other creepy Christmas characters. In fact, Frau Perchta cuts open the bellies of naughty children and sometimes tramples them. However, you can be spared an encounter with this Christmas witch if you prepare porridge for her. I guess I'm not the only one who doesn't like spiders. But you know what's even creepier than a normal spider? A Christmas spider! In the following video, we see a spider-like creature wearing a Santa hat and a red bag that is probably full of presents. But who wants to get presents from a creepy spider? And what must the person have been thinking when he managed to capture the spider on camera? There's a good chance the spider was animated by a computer. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the information, so where the spider went and what was in the red bag, we will unfortunately never know. But imagine coming across a spider like that at Christmas. I would definitely run away as fast as I can. A family from America decided to put down a camera during Christmas to see if they could capture Santa Claus for their children to see. And they were lucky because at some point Santa Claus appears in the picture in a magical way. The family had left some cookies and a glass of milk for Santa Claus, and after eating and drinking everything, he suddenly conjures a big bag full of presents, and even more presents that end up near the Christmas tree. In this case, Santa brought some big presents, which means that the children have probably been very sweet all year round. After everything has been put down, Santa looks at the camera and is startled. He realized that he had just shown his magical powers on camera. Then he looks into the camera and wishes everyone a Merry Christmas before he disappears again. It's all fun and games to throw snowballs and use stuff to make a snowman. But what if the snowman suddenly starts moving? As we can see in this video, a woman walks past a snowman who suddenly throws a snowball at her. It could be pretty scary if this happens to you, because the person who probably dressed up as a snowman is ready to scare the hell out of people. What would you do if you're walking down the street quietly and busy with your phone and you feel someone suddenly throw a snowball at you when you don't see anyone nearby? And do you think this is a snowman who has come to life or maybe someone who dressed up as a snowman? Let me know your opinion in the comments. All over the world there are different Christmas traditions. In fact, every country has its own tradition. But what they have in the Spanish region, Catalonia, is very strange. Tío de Nadal, as it is called, is a tree trunk with a smiling face, a red hat, and two legs. The Catalans have a tradition of feeding the tree trunk with food scraps, so that it poops out presents on Christmas Eve. The days before Christmas Eve, they start feeding the tree trunk, and sometimes also cover it with a blanket, so it won't be cold. But before the children get a treat from the tree trunk, they have to pray. Then the tree trunk is put in the fireplace and asked to shit out the treats. Since households today don't really have fireplaces anymore, this tradition is done less and less. The following video footage was filmed in 1996 when CGI special effects and YouTube did not exist. The man in the video suggests that he and his brother were visiting their sick father at Christmas. They hear the ringing of Christmas bells outside and his brother takes a look. The man also decided to take a look, but then they hear that Santa Claus is already in the house. He walks back to the living room and sees Santa Claus walking towards his father's bed. Santa Claus disappears in an inexplicable way, but he had left all his presents and shouted Merry Christmas before he disappeared. A lot of people in the comments believe that this is proof 
that Santa Claus really exists because this video was recorded in 1996 and later uploaded to YouTube in 2011. Meet Calacanceros, an evil goblin who sows pure terror in the hearts of both children and adults as the 12 days of Christmas approach. Calacanceros exits the southeastern Europe and Anatolian folklore and is known in countries including Greece, Turkey, Serbia, Bulgaria, Albania, and Cyprus. Technically, he appears only in those days between Christmas Eve and the Feast of Epiphany. But you may be wondering how he scares people of all ages. I'll tell you, because there's not just one goblin, but there's a whole bunch of them that live underground. They have horse legs, demonic heads, and razor-sharp teeth and claws. Because they mostly live underground, they are completely blind. So when they come out, they crawl through every hole in your house, like a chimney, and pull evil pranks. If you are naughty, like unfaithful to your partner, they will find you and jump on your back and scratch and torment you. Like most of these horrific Christmas myths, there's also a way around these Christmas monsters. If you burn a shoe in the fireplace or put a colander in your front door, they won't enter your house. With technology invading our lives more and more every day, it's no surprise that it's also starting to make Christmas extra special. Or is it just extra scary? Meet Boston Dynamics' robotic version of Santa's reindeer. Imagine if they came running after you. You see, they can move and run just like real reindeer. But a side of a robot is similar to the robots we often see in movies. I'm talking about those movies where the robots try to replace and take over humanity. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But you can't deny that these robot reindeer look pretty frightening. We don't know if Boston Dynamics has any further plans to improve the exterior design of the reindeer robot, but it is one of the companies that is at the forefront of their technology. In December of 2020, they uploaded a video where we see robots that can now dance. What's your opinion about these types of robots in the future? Do you find it useful, or should they stop developing them? Let me know in the comments. The family that lives in this house had a security camera hung up at the front door to see if they could capture Santa Claus on camera during Christmas Eve. As you can see, Santa Claus is standing on the left side of the wall, but he did not come alone, because if you look closely, we can also see Rudolph the reindeer. But what happened after that is pretty unbelievable. Santa Claus walks towards the door and knows how to enter the house. Thanks to the family, we can also see what Santa Claus is doing as soon as he is inside. They also hung up a camera inside. Santa Claus empties the glass of milk and eats the cookies that was lying next to the Christmas tree. And then he decides to put a lot of presents under the tree. How cool is that? The next morning, the family could show their children that Santa Claus had passed by. I think it was an unforgettable Christmas for them. All this talk about myths and monsters, but did you know that there's also people who can be monsters? John Barton was a man who did something terrible during Christmas on December 18th, 2006. A father, mother, and two daughters were filling up at a convenience store when a man dressed up as Santa Claus stopped to fill up. However, he was not on a sleigh. He had a motorcycle and a sidecar, which carried Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. To the parents' shock, he lured one of the girls with a stuffed toy and rode off with her. What followed was a high-speed chase in which the father followed the fake Santa and finally stopped him. It later turned out that John was a 55-year-old man who had been dressing up as Santa Claus and taking rides with children on his motorcycle for weeks. Pretty creepy if you ask me. And this is a good lesson for everyone, that you should never go with a stranger. Have you ever heard of Krampus? A horn-like creature that looks like a half-devil, half-goat. This character is said to be an ancient tradition in the Alpine region. He is described as helping Santa Claus, but if a child has not been good all year, it is taken away in the sack. However, it has become a great tradition. On December 5th, people will go outside the streets, dressed as Krampus. According to articles, they would then terrorize households and streets. In some parts of the Alps, this creature is feared, especially if you've heard stories about what Krampus is up to. But in some places, the celebration is somewhat peaceful, with only some home visits, nothing more. In the following video, we see Santa Claus flying through the air, together with his reindeer in a sled, towards his next destination. This would have been captured by a man named Paul Morey in the American city of New York. Probably Santa was getting ready for Christmas Eve, or he was on his way to another country where it was already dark. The man who had filmed the video had even done an interview explaining that the video footage was real. There also have been a lot of people claiming to have seen Santa Claus in the air that same day. So it's pretty cool that they captured Santa Claus on camera in almost broad daylight. The video has been watched millions of times. No Christmas monster we talked about is as famous as Necht Ruprecht or Krampus. 
This Christmas monster comes from the folklore of the Alpine region and is the helper of St. Nicholas. Countries including Austria, Hungary, Croatia, Czech Republic, Italy, and Germany all know who he is. In the following video, we see a terrifying animatronic of Krampus that was a part of a dark Christmas set at a convention somewhere in America. The story of this Christmas monster goes that every December, only the good children get presents. The children who have been naughty are made into stew. Also, Krampus, who incidentally looks like a half-man, half-goat, will actively chase children and scare them. Santa Claus is known for his kindness and compassion, especially for the poor and sick. He is usually an old man with a long white beard and red suit with a red hat. The best thing about Santa Claus is that he gives his presents to everyone. This is also why children and adults are so happy to see the real Santa Claus. In 2013, a video went viral in which Santa Claus with his sleigh and reindeer was observed in the sky. According to several sources, this was believed to have been shot in New York. Could this really be Santa Claus traveling through the night? to drop off presents? Unfortunately, no more is known about this video. So, we'll leave it up to you whether you believe in Santa Claus or not. Have you ever experienced some strange things at Christmas? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we made, click one on the screen or take a look at our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.